Hi, and welcome to another video. In the previous video, we had a look at this add post frame callback method, and we've looked what problem can we solve with it. Today, I would like to have a look into the problem itself. So let's remove this, this, and this. Let's save that. We should have a hot reload. There we go. And we get our error back. So the error says that the snack bar, the show snack bar method, cannot be called during build, and there is some explanation, and also they show you how you can potentially fix it. And one of the ways they already show you here is that you can use this add post frame callback. However, to understand better what actually happens over here, let's go into this show snack bar method. First of all, we have some assertion that checks whether we have any scaffolds. If we don't have any scaffolds, then we are throwing here a message. Now, at this point, notice that it's an assertion, and assertion is evaluated only at debug. It's ignored at production. You can see it over here at the Dart language tool when you have this assert section. And I encourage you to read that if you have no idea about asserts. And at the end over here, they tell you that in production code, assertions are ignored. Then we are taking care of the controllers. So if there are no, if there is no animation controller, apparently we create one and we do some stuff with them. But let's skip that for now. And then finally down here, we have the try and catch block. And notice that inside of the try here, we have a set state. We can do set state over here because if we scroll up to the definition of, there we go, somewhere here, there we go, the scaffold messenger, then it's extending a stateful widget. So it's just a stateful widget in our tree. And then when we use the scaffold messenger dot off context, then with the inherited widget, we just get access to the state of this stateful widget. Now being back here in our method, the show snack bar method, we have this set state set. And this is not allowed because we cannot set state during build method. Because when you are building a tree of widgets, then you are building according to the current state. You want to render the state. So our view in Flutter, in declarative frameworks, is basically a function of a state. So if your state changes during the function being computed, so think in math, if you have a function, let's say that adds three numbers, and then while these three numbers are added, you change one of them, it, it will give you an unexpected result. And it's the same function over here in Flutter. Okay, but what happens next? Here we can see our error. So the error we get is this, the show snack bar method cannot be called during build. However, this error is only created over here. But this is not the actual error that we get. Because what happens in the catch clause, we have this assert, and this assert checks whether we got an exception that is a flutter error. And then we still do something a little bit malicious over here or sinister, which is we take a summary of this error or exception, and we check the string for it. This string that we get over here is expected to be set state or, or mark needs build called during build. And if we got this summary, then we change this exception and we throw something else over here. So we create a new error and we throw this. And of course, this is a good thing to do because this error is a lot more descriptive for a snack bar than this generic error for a set state. But I would argue that checking a string here is not the best practice because if the string will change where it's thrown, this, this original error is thrown, then the developer may not necessarily be able to think that there are other places where we are checking for this string and this may lead to potential errors in future or unexpected behaviors. However, in this situation, it would be probably easily found. Then if you do it in your own application, you may end up with quite an unexpected result sometimes. Okay, so we now know that the actual error is thrown at the set state method or the mark needs build method, which is calling called during the build. Therefore, let's have a look into set state. So our set state method takes a void callback function and we check if it's not null. If it's not null, it's okay. We continue. And then we have this huge block of an assertion. And here we are checking whether a current debug state lifecycle is not defunct or is defunct. And if it's defunct, then we also threw an error because that means that set state was called after this pause, which should not happen. And then if we scroll down, and then over here, we are checking whether the set state lifecycle is created and we are not mounted yet, which would mean that set state was called in constructor and this is also not allowed. So an error is thrown. However, if all of it works, then we return true. 
and then we have this object result so we get the result of our function then we cast it to a dynamic type which is also a nullable object and then we have this another assert block and in this assert block we are checking if a result is a future and apparently we don't allow set state to return or the function argument to return a future which they tell you over here in case we have any other type returned from set state then this is okay and we don't care about that however we still did not see the error that we actually were looking for and here you can notice that set state is calling the mark needs build method if you have watched my video about abusing stateless widgets where we actually made stateless widget stateful without the state object or extending state, stateful widget then in order to achieve that we use this mark needs build method on an element and set state does exactly the same so set state has a reference to an element and it calls mark needs build on it now if we navigate to this method what do we have here first again we have a couple of assertions and we have an if over here which is checking whether we are not in an active uh, element lifecycle uh, state and in that case we will return in production otherwise we are continuing and here we have this assert block in which we are checking whether we are in debug building and if yes then we again have some assertion over here for general states and finally we also check whether there is a flag set that we allow to ignore calls to mark needs build and if all these checks were basically going through and we get into this close then finally this is when we get our exception and finally there we go so this is our answer this is the place when the original error is actually thrown that later causes this show snack bar error i hope this video gave you a little bit of an insight into why do we get this show snack bar error what's wrong with calling set, set state during build and also what other kind of issues we can have when working with set state and also with this mark needs build method if this video was of any help for you then i would appreciate if you can like it or subscribe to my channel for more videos like this and for now i call you to death and i see you the next time bye bye